Well, welcome to this training video where we're going to run you through how to set up the time and date on your Rebe Ketone Blood Ketone Meter when you first get it. This meter comes with uh, batteries supplied. They're two standard AAA batteries, uh, so very easy to replace when you do need uh, a new battery. If we just reverse this meter off, you've got the serial me meter reading, sorry, the serial number for the meter on the back. And if we just pull the battery compartment down and open, this comes away. And you've got two little buttons in here. The one on the left is the button that you press to set the time and date. So that's the one we're interested in this afternoon. This little button here under the battery compartment switches the meter display between millimoles per litre and grams per deciliter. So I would leave that well alone because they should come set up switched over to the uh, right hand aspect which should give you the millimoles per litre display. So let's pop the batteries into this unit and we'll run you through setting the time and date. So in go the batteries. Meter beeps, and if you just turn it over quickly, you'll see it running through the display settings and then going off. We now want to set the uh, date on the meter. So come to the reverse, press the setting button, and the year starts displaying. Just the last two digits of it, 2017, a bit behind time, so we go to 2019. Move to the next, which is the month. Now it is actually January so I'm going to leave it on that, not press the white button and just depress the setting button again to take me to day. We're on the 31st so I'm just going to keep pressing this and you'll see the day changing in the top right hand corner to 31. Okay now if you make a mistake with this and run through too many or go over the date there's no way of running back down just take the batteries out and start over until you get it right. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's worthwhile getting the time and date set up correctly. We've now pressed it again and moved to hour. This is a 24 hour clock, so we go 13, 1400 for two o'clock. Press the button again to set the minutes. And we're running at about 20 past two. There we go, good. Press it again, switches itself off. The time is now correctly set on this meter and you can put the battery compartment back on. You'll see it's got an auto off function which saves the battery. You're now ready to do your first test. I would highly recommend that you set the time and date correctly first time and keep it set. The reason being when you come to use the memory function the time and date of the test is embedded for you in those results that you can recall.